today we're doing Lesson 77 from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 77. I am entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles. You are entitled to miracles because of what you are. You will receive miracles because of what God is. And you will offer miracles because you are one with God. Again, how simple is salvation? It is merely a statement of your true identity. It is this that we will celebrate today. Your claim to miracles does not lie in your illusions about yourself. It does not depend on any magical powers you have ascribed to yourself, nor on any of the rituals you have devised. It is inherent in the truth of who you are. It is implicit in what God your Father is. It was ensured in your creation and guaranteed by the laws of God. Today we will claim the miracles which are your right since they belong to you. You have been promised full release from the world you made. You have been assured that the kingdom of God is within you and can never be lost. We ask no more than what belongs to us in truth. Today, however, we will also make sure that we will not content ourselves with less. Begin the longer practice periods by telling yourself quite confidently that you are entitled to miracles. Closing your eyes, remind yourself that you are asking only for what is rightfully yours. Remind yourself also that miracles are never taken from one and given to another, and that in asking for your rights, you are upholding the rights of everyone. Miracles do not obey the laws of this world. They merely follow from the laws of God. After this brief introductory phase, wait quietly for the assurance that your request is granted. You have asked for the salvation of the world and for your own. You have requested that you be given the means by which this is accomplished. You cannot fail to be assured in this. You are but asking that the will of God be done. In doing this, you do not really ask for anything. You state a fact that cannot be denied. The Holy Spirit cannot but assure you that your request is granted. The fact that you accepted must be so. There is no room for doubt and uncertainty today. We are asking a real question at last. We are asking a real question at last. The answer is a simple statement of a simple fact you will receive the assurance that you seek. Our shorter practice periods will be frequent and will also be devoted to a reminder of a simple fact. Tell yourself often today, I am entitled to miracles. I am entitled to miracles. Ask for them whenever a situation arises in which they are called for. You will recognize these situations. And since you are not relying on yourself to find the miracle, you are fully entitled to receive it whenever you ask. Remember, too, not to be satisfied with less than the perfect answer. Be quick to tell yourself, should you be tempted, I will not trade miracles for grievances. I want only what belongs to me. God has established miracles as my right. That's Lesson 77, I am entitled to miracles. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.